Normally getting 100% of something is a great thing, like getting to keep 100% of your paycheck or getting in 100% of your reps at the gym or your best friend giving you 100% of their entire Skittle stash. But sometimes 100% is bad, like 100% disk usage on your computer. Files and programs take forever to load and your computer is acting like it's trudging through a muddy swamp just trying to open the littlest thing. In today's video, I'm gonna explain why this happens and what you can do to fix it. There's two simple ways to know whether your computer is running at 100% disk usage. First, the hard drive indicator light on your laptop or desktop, which normally blinks during normal usage, will appear solid. And when it appears solid orange, that means that it is blinking so fast you can't even see it. This is actually because the hard drive is being overworked and what appears to be a solid light is actually a blinking light that is running nonstop. This actually is because the hard drive is being used so so heavily that that blinking appears to be a constant light. That's not a good thing. The second way to verify 100% disk usage is within Windows, but more on that a little bit later. First of all, it's important to know that a problem with 100% disk usage can only be one of two things. It's either software or hardware. There are no other options. Software issues can be fixable with the right tools, but hardware issues sometimes do require replacing parts, which can cost you money. 99.99% .99 of the time, if your 100% hard disk usage is caused by hardware, it's going to be the hard drive. So before you pull your hair out trying to spend all weekend trying to figure out a software problem, you first want to eliminate the hardware. Additionally, if it ends up being the hard drive, troubleshooting that first is gonna give you the opportunity to back up your data before replacing that drive. So first, you wanna run several tests on that disk drive to make sure that it's actually in good physical shape. The first check you're gonna to wanna to run is a simple check disk that's a program that's built into Windows, it's free of charge, and it's very simple to use. So what you're gonna do is down in the search bar, just type in CMD, and when you see it pop up with command prompt, you want to right click, choose run as administrator. So when the command prompt pops up, you wanna type in CHK DSK space forward slash F as in fix. What this does is it checks the Windows file structure your computer basically has the equivalent of a table of contents in it. That's called the FAT table. And what that does is it tells Windows where all the files are on the physical drive. If Windows for some reason thinks a file is in chapter 16, when it's actually in chapter four, it's going to take forever to find it, which is gonna cause 100% disk usage until it finds that file. So running this check disk will help alleviate some of those errors. After this check disk is run, pay attention to your computer. If you're noticing that you're not sitting at 100% disk usage or your hard drive indicator light is not going crazy, that may very well have been the problem. However, you wanna also check the physical integrity of that disk, because if your data is on it, you wanna make sure that the drive is okay before you proceed. So what you want to do from that command prompt again, you want to type chk dsk space forward slash r. Now what the r switch does is it actually physically checks the drive and it makes sure that the drive is physically sound. This test will take a while, so make sure you've wrapped up everything you're doing before you start. This test does take a lot longer, but if there is a physical problem with the drive, this test will find it. After the test is run, you don't even necessarily need to restart your computer, even though I would recommend it, but then open File Explorer, open a program, open a picture, open your web browser. See if you notice the machine is any faster. See if you notice whether or not you're still getting 100% disk usage on your hard drive indicator. Now, if you don't see any significant improvement, the next thing you wanna do is what's called a system file checker. And I actually just recently made a video about this specific program. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is go back to that command prompt again. Again, go into the search box, typing CMD, right click on it, choose run as administrator. When the command prompt pops up, type in SFC, space forward slash scan now, all one word, and hit enter. What this does is it verifies the integrity of the Windows system files, which could also be causing your disk usage problem if files are not where they're supposed to be. This test can take as little as 15 minutes or several hours, depending on how much corruption it finds. So just be patient and let it run. So if after testing the hard drive, you don't find any problems with the physical drive, that's a good thing because that means your drive is okay, which means your data is probably okay. At this point, it's a software problem. Now, the first thing I would recommend to fix the software problem is download a program called Kill. This is a free program and what it does is it basically looks to see any of your active Windows processes and anything that it should not be running, it kills it. The reason you want to run this is because if your 100% disk usage is being caused by a malware infection or a virus or something along those lines, R kill will stop it from running and if suddenly, as soon as the R kill runs and stops these processes, your disk usage goes from 100% 
to 40%, then you know you've got a bug. And that's a good thing because now we can easily fix it. So after you run our kill and everything seems to be working better, take a big deep breath because now we're gonna take care of the problem. So if you don't have one already, you need to get an antivirus program. There are several free ones on the market. I don't particularly like the Windows Defender that comes with Windows. I don't think it does a good enough job at detecting bugs. It's better than nothing, but I would recommend a different program, at least for the purpose of troubleshooting this problem. There is Avast, AVG, Norton, McAfee, ESET, Panda, FProt, there's a billion of them. Search around, Avast is free, that's the one that I always put on a client computer and it seems to do a pretty good job. That's my personal preference, but you can choose whatever you want. The point is, have an antivirus program because if you've got a bug, you need to be able to remove it. I'll put all these links below for you. Now, Avast offers a great program, it's 100% free, and it does do a great job of scanning for viruses. You're also going to need a good malware scanner. Now, I personally recommend Malware Bytes. it's what I've used for years. Again, also free, and it's a good idea to download and scan to see if you have any malware infections on your computer. I'll put the link in the description for that as well. So regardless of which one you choose, pick an antivirus program, pick a malware scanner, and scan your system. These things alone could take care of your 100% disk usage problem. Now, while you're scanning for bugs, you want to actually look and see what Windows says is your actual disk usage. This might actually help you figure out what process that's running is causing your 100% disk usage. So what you wanna do is right click on your taskbar and choose Task Manager. If you look at the top on the right side, you'll see CPU, memory, disk, and so on. The disk percentage is what you want to look at. If that number is 100% or anywhere close to it, that's telling you that there's 100% disk usage caused by some kind of software. That basically means your computer's trying to run a marathon as a sprinter with no water breaks, and that's not good. So you can click on the word disk and it will actually sort all the processes by the amount of disk usage that they are consuming. This might give you an indicator of which specific program is causing your problem. So if you see a process on the left side that is consuming a large percentage of disk usage, try right clicking on that process and choose end task. If after you do that, your system starts working normally, you found your problem. Now what you'll need to do is focus on which program that was and how to remove it from your computer. Now lastly, high disk usage can also be caused by fragmentation. Files are written to your computer constantly. Every time you open a file, a document, a spreadsheet, open a web page, it's constantly writing and deleting files off of your hard drive. That can cause it to be extremely fragmented. Basically, if you've ever been to a Walmart customer service anytime around Christmas and you see 500 baskets in front of the customer service desk and there is everything in there from beans to tennis rackets, that's a fragmented hard drive. The one thing that the computer needs is in one of those baskets and it will find it, but it's going to take a long time before it searches through all of them. That's what a fragmented hard drive looks like. Conversely, if you've ever gone to your local grocery store at seven in the morning and seen everything is completely stocked, fronted, faced, on the shelves, everything is exactly where it's supposed to be, that's a good example of a defragmented hard drive. Your computer knows where everything is, it can go right to it, the aisle, the shelf, everything, grab the file, open it, and boom. And that's why defragmenting will increase the performance of your computer and because the computer doesn't have to go searching for something, it's not going to have to use 100% of the disk to go find it, which means lower disk usage. So to quickly check how fragmented your hard drive is, there's a handful of different programs out there that you can use. One that I recommend is called Defraggler. It's totally free. It's made by the same people that make CCleaner and you can just go to pureform.com and download it and I'll put a link in the description for you so you can check it out. Make sure you've got drive C selected, which is your local disk C, which is where everything is written to, and then down at the bottom click analyze. Turn that loose, wait for it to finish its evaluation, and then it will show you up at the top a percentage of fragmentation. Anything below 10% means you're lightly fragmented and that's not the reason for your problem. Anything between 10 and 20% means a light fragmentation and it would be a good idea to clean it up, but that's not what's causing 100% disk usage. Anything above 25 to 30% is heavily fragmented and now that means that that could very well be causing your problem. When you get above 50% fragmentation, that means that for one out of every two files that the Windows is trying to access, it has to go search for it. And that is most likely the reason for your 100% disk usage. Once the program has reported the percentage of fragmentation, you can click on the optimize button and then turn it loose. It will go through your entire hard drive, reorganize everything, 
basically the equivalent of stocking the store shelves for you. It will put all the files back where they're supposed to be so that when you open a program, Windows knows exactly where it is, or when you open a picture, it knows exactly where to go to gather all the pieces of that picture and open it fast. So just understand that if you are heavily fragmented, this program could take a full day to run sometimes even longer. And that's because it's gotta go through a lot of files and reorganize everything. Think of 20 different puzzles that someone opened the boxes and poured them all into one pile. And now what you have to do is go figure out which pieces go to which puzzle. That's essentially what a heavily fragmented drive is going to look like. And it's going to take Windows a long time to do that. So hopefully I've given you some helpful information on how to troubleshoot a high disk usage situation. So please let me know in the comments below if any of these tips helped you out and what kind of performance enhancements you've discovered after you ran these tests. If you enjoy this kind of content, make sure you click on subscribe so you get notified every time I make new content like this. As a small creator, it helps me out tremendously and allows me to continue making helpful videos like this for you. Thanks so much for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video.